Hey guys, it's Kirsten. So this picture was just submit. Um, it's super cute. I blocked out everyone's faces um, just cause, but um, the person who sent this in was curious about um, fixing uh, just the way the sun is on the part, accentuating, you know, it doesn't look quite, quite natural. So this is, we're gonna just jump right in. We're gonna pick the um, quick, quick selection tool. Let's see if we can just, there we go. Actually, you know what, let me zoom up a little bit so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so we're just gonna select some of the darker hair and, okay, quick select. Okay, right click on the inside of the marching ants and just do layer via copy. Then we're going to um, file, uh, sorry, edit, transform, and warp. So you have to kind of play with these little bullet points. You can also go in through here. We're gonna go a little, you can kind of pull to see where the natural hairline goes. Um, and trust, trust the process. We're gonna go like, we're gonna make it go a little bit past where we need to go on this side and then we'll focus on the other side. Okay, trust the process. Okay, we're gonna click on the plus, I mean on the check mark, sorry. Now, check this out. Hold down your Alt key and click on the layer mask. Okay, that's gonna hide what we just did. We have a black mask, so we want a white brush. And let's put the opacity at like, I don't know, 40% so we can kind of layer it up. I'm also gonna... I don't like how that looked, so I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to hit the X, X key, just so I can bring that back a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna hit the X key one more time and just take the bangs, fix the bangs a little bit. Okay, so now, Let's go to the background again, background layer. So now we're gonna take the quick select again. Now that it's all kind of monochromatic, I think it, I feel like it might be a little bit, and of course my phone is ringing. I don't know how to turn off. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. So there we go. So, oh, spam risk is calling me. All right, let's see if we can pull that back. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Right click, layer via copy. Holy smokes, that is friggin' annoying. Let me see if I can mute for one second. Actually, it just stopped, so whatever. Okay, so then we're gonna go, same thing. Edit, transform, warp. We're gonna pull the bangs up a little. Hit the check mark, hold the Alt key down, reverse a layer mask, get a white brush at 40%. Okay, let's double click on the hand here to Okay, that's looking good. However, okay, this one right here, click on this layer. I'm gonna zoom back in for you. Okay, we're gonna go into 
adjustments. If adjustments aren't showing, then you just go window adjustments and then drag them and plop them somewhere over here. Um, let's do a either curves or levels, the same thing. Um, let's do curve. Now we're going to either click the square right here or you can right click on the curves layer and do clipping mask. Same difference. So now it's only going to affect the layer um, below it. I like clicking on the finger with the up and down arrow. And I'm going to hold down and just drag. I think I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom one. This time I'll show you levels. And we're gonna click clipping mask. So now we're gonna just we're gonna kinda just go back. It's not good to pixel peep, you know what I mean? Because then you're, then you, you know. I think that looks really good. So let's just say I was going to flatten it. I'm going to show you one more technique. I mean, honestly, I think that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so the other thing I was saying is we're going to do a new layer, which is the square with a check mark in it. We're going to click on the brush. We're going to right click. Now I have Scott Kelby's hair brushes. Um, so I think if you just do a Google search of that, they're free and they look like this. Okay. Whoops. So I'm going to do tiny, tiny. Let's do the opacity at like 30%, I think. Let's take kind of a dark color here. I feel like I have to go even smaller. Now, trust the process. I say that all the time, so it's not going to look like this. I promise you. Hold the Alt key down to select a color. Okay, this is going to put some a little bit of the texture back in, but trust the process. Don't go ew until I say so. Any other lefties edit with their right hand? Like me? I'm too old for a walk -em. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. This looks good to me. I'm going to just get a couple. Whoops, that was. I'm just going to get a couple dark pieces. kind of cross over a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now what you're going to do is filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and 3.5 I think looks good. Because um, you want it, you want to see the strands, you want to see the texture, but not, you know, the hot mess it was three seconds ago. That also brings in some texture. Let's double click on the hand. And I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, let me know. And don't forget to shop in my Etsy store, Dance Tog. I added a bunch of fun new stuff. Okay, bye.